Have you ever heard something on the news that just completely blows your mind? Calm down, Jenna Jameson, not like that. I'm talking about so outlandish that it makes you change your mind on everything that you know. That's what's happened in America in the past five months. And the exact reason is because the media is a bunch of liberal butt kissers who wants to get rid of Trump. So they will air whatever story that makes conservatives look the worst. So in this video, I am going to prove how easy it is to take a story and twist it 73 different ways into another story to cause the nation to become divided. I know y'all will enjoy this. You're welcome. Welcome to another edition of Screw You Media, where if you're a conservative, we'll lie about you. We have a couple of stories to cover tonight, but I first off want to start with a message from Hillary Clinton to Donald Trump. She says, F you. Oh, we can't say that on the air. <clears throat> Moving on to our first story. There seems to be police in the streets of Austin, Portland, Chicago, and Louisville, to name a few, who are assaulting peaceful protesters in the streets. Let's take a look. As you can see, the peaceful protesters are doing nothing but being peaceful and fighting. You gotta stop interrupting me. I said fighting? No, I didn't, but if I did, just cut it out. Let's go down to AJ reporting live from Kenosha, Wisconsin on what seems to be a very peaceful protest. AJ, what can you tell us? Uh, what you're seeing behind me is one of multiple locations that have been burning in Kenosha, Wisconsin over the course of the night. A second night since Jacob Blake was seen shot in the back seven times by a police officer. You are seeing now these images came and come in stark contrast to what we saw over the course of the daytime hours in Kenosha and into the early evening, which were largely peaceful demonstrations in the face of law enforcement. Thanks again, AJ. And I think you said it best when you said that it is mostly a peaceful protest. I would like to mention that the fire in the background was started by two adult females trying to cook pot brownies next to a propane tank and that fire had nothing to do with the protesters throwing Molotov cocktails. Moving on to our next story, an African man was shot seven times in the back by a white policeman while he was trying to remove a gift for one of the officers from his car to commend the officers for arriving at the scene so quickly. As you can see in the video, Blake is trying to remove the box of chocolates he bought for the police officer when the officer shot him in the back seven times. This calls for much concern when citizens are trying to give police officers gifts and they end up getting shot. Also, the object that looked like a knife in Blake's hand was actually his baby's pacifier. It is a new upgraded version of a pacifier that you can get on Amazon today. Our last story today, there seems to be a group of white supremacists combating the peaceful protests of Black Lives Matter in the major cities of the U.S. These white supremacists call themselves patriots and say that they are not racist, but look at the color of their skin. I think that speaks for itself. These so-called patriots are saying that they are protecting businesses from looters, but from what we have seen, the only people looting are homeless people that have no affiliation with Black Lives Matter. That sums up our broadcast. Keep on hating conservatives for no reason, America.